Hey y'all, hey, hey kings and queens. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to look up that scripture because I don't know why I just heard. Hold on a second, let me be back before I say it. Okay, okay, I'm back. Kings and queens, grand rising, grand afternoon, and grand evening. So, um, what I heard was when I was shuffling was De Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Do you like ramen? <laughs> Deuteronomy. Um, you get the gist of it. 10 and 12. And it basically says that you are to fear nothing but basically fear God. Um, and you're called to serve Him. And what exactly? I probably could have wrote down the scripture, but I didn't. But if you are or if you are enlightened if you are inclined to go look it up please do so but i also heard um when i was shuffling shy guy so one of you all of you or some of you whoever this message resonates with is shy probably more of um, an introvert and when i was pre-shuffling oh okay <laughs> this card came out reverse but when i just tried to pick it up it turned over to the upright so basically you have opportunities to shine and you are asked to shine that light honey reveal those talents that you have and this oracle deck that i'm utilizing today are the divine masters honey the divine masters what also came out is Mother Mary, honey, divine experiences. So these are the opportunities that's going to come out. Um, do not be afraid of being powerful, right? Stop hiding yourself. Um, get out there and show what God has made, what he has created, right? Uh, one of the reasons why I travel the world is because... I want to showcase the beauty um, that God has created. And like a lot of the places that I visit, like they are so unmatched, right? It's like you can't compare. Make sure my mic is still on. You cannot compare how beautiful these places are to each other. They are standalone beauty, right? And either you like it or you love it. Mm -hmm. um, Hathor also came out, which is acceleration, brilliance, and it's asking for you to stand in your light. It was in reverse, so it's asking you to definitely pay attention to that. Make sure that you're standing in your light, that you are... And you're being authentic to you. Oh, excuse me. Confirmation. I'm going to give you an example. So, like, out here where I'm at, this tropical place, honey. Um, <laughs> yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, also, Sonata Kumara? also came through but in the reverse right so open channel there are signs codes and downloads and sacred sacred um sanctified sacred ooh, information that you are receiving um yeah you're an open channel so be mindful that if you're on the spiritual side, right, and if you've already had that spiritual awakening, awakening, um, every vision you have does not belong to you. Every message you have does not belong to you. So it is imperative that you share your gifts and your talents, right? Do not be a hoarder, right? The Most High God did not give. What? Why does it feel like something 
give you these gifts. Mm. Check your Saturn placement, right? And see if your shadow side is... Um, for some reason, I keep hearing sanctified or your sanctified side is hanging out in um, your Saturn placements, right? What can you do by um, viewing your, what can you do to improve by viewing your Saturn side or your Saturn placement? Mm-hmm. Your current situation is initiating your gifts. Honey, these are for the... These cards, honey. When I'm reading these cards, honey, these are for the enlightened people, okay? The people that are quote-unquote woke. The people... <coughs> Ooh! Bless me, huh? No. I read... Uh, I'm gonna have to look this up. I've seen something that said now I do know the words are spells, right? Um <laughs> I heard all praise be to Allah. <laughs> uh, okay, my Muslim people coming through. Shout out, shout out, shout out to you. Um Yeah. If you are Muslim and you this message has reached you, check your Saturn placement. I don't know why I keep having to say this. I'm going to drop a link in, in the, not in the comment section, but in the information box. And it's going to be a link to where you can get a free chart, right? So what you want to do is put your information in if you have the time of your birth. Um... How I figured out the time of my birth was pretty cool. Um, but put it in and it will show you like what zodiac signs are in what planetary uh, lines, right? Pluto, Mars, Jupiter, um, Neptune, like Saturn all that right and so at the bottom you scroll down and it tells you the things going on in those particular houses um and they call them like your saturn is in leo leo in the the ninth house or something like that so it'll tell you and it'll explain further right so if you want to deep dive honey you could deep dive into it um it's funny that someone looked at me recently and asked me if i was an astrologist and what i do know is being an astrologer honey is a labor of love because um Mm -hmm. it's a labor of love let your passion lead you to your purpose a word of advice Ooh, thank you divine masters for coming through thank you for showing your face gracing us with your presence um Thank you for allowing me to be a vessel. All right, y'all. I'm not going to drag this out. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all enjoy what's left of your day. You continue to be blessed. You continue to let that stress go. You continue to speak positivity into your life. Even if you got to write down affirmations and put them on your mirror so you do not forget them. Every time you see them, you say them. You say how blessed you are. You say how better you are today than you were uh yesterday we are advancing we are uplifting and we are ascending i say i say i say have a great one